Alright, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Make sure this shit still works. Alright, so far it seems like it's working. Alright, let's try this again. Hold on, delete character. Alright. Now please work, OBS. Okay, so I just tried streaming this. It disconnected and would not reconnect. So, and I don't know if I was actually online after it disconnected and reconnected, so here we go again with this attempt. So, I'm back to Median XL. I'm gonna redo some shit that I did. Oh, and uh, let's not go in here right now. Not at level one. Just making sure. Here I'm like. Oh, right, I forgot about this. Yeah, I forgot about the masteries. go. There we go. Alright.
Okay, so I'm guessing three, yeah, three points into meditation. See, I, I completely forgot that masteries were a thing. This time we're at the burial grounds. Okay, cool. Scepter. If I recall correctly, yeah, cast speed is a lot higher with the scepter. Actually, you know what? Screw, screw doing this one. Also, I... Oh yeah, I did hit... That's right, you don't get a free merc for doing that anymore. I forgot all about that. That change. These are still the same. Fire, lightning, and PMSD.
will I play D4? No, because I hear it's all microtransactions. For one, and for two, I probably can't play it anyway. Thank God another median playthrough. Yep. Yep, it's been long enough. And I do not have a burnout of this anymore. Truth be told, I would have played last season, except... When I heard that there was a new season, it had already been out for like a week or two. And my mentality just my mind just said, oh well, I guess we'll I guess I'll do next season then. And here we are. Throw that right up there. I was hoping D4 would be like median. Eh, I didn't expect it to be like median, but... I was hoping it wouldn't be uh, pay to win, which, from what I understand, that's what it is. need mana potions. I do remember seldom needing mana potions, even as a caster. Well, the easier life mods like faster walking. Ah, oh, oh, Phoenix Shield, that is, oh, yeah, let's, let's definitely use that. Any new Thomas V asks any new bosses on MXL since I did the last playthrough. I heard that they are reworking all of the old, all of the old Ubers, and there's a new Uber Butcher in Tr in Tristram that you get at level 125, or you have to be level 125 to enter. Other than that, I have not heard of any new bosses. Just mostly tweaks and reworks to pre-existing stuff. Okay, so dark wood. Dump more into strength. Let's get another magic missile.
New Boston Slaws Glen. Uh, I've never, I've never actually been to Slaws Glen. I always get tired by one third by the time I hit level one thirty. I still stand by that, my opinion that they should lower the level to one thirty, one thirty to enter Slaws Glen. Let's see that is. Put a point into balance. What does this do? Okay, it gives you max stamina. Oh, wait. Okay. So I'm thinking we don't go fortitude. There we go. Deckard Kane, go to the rogue's path without delay. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. <laughs> Regret. So I remember this reward. You get Akara's robe for completing this quest. Now back to the dark wood. Uh, make sure... Okay. I was, like, double... Double, triple checking to make sure I got all the... All my points spent. There's the There's the tower. And uh where's the waypoint? There it is. Heart of Darkness, which is after Samuel Demon. Oh really? There's a new impossible tier Uber. Oh boy. Well, I'll have to check that out when uh T4 VMXL and or Ben. Well, actually, Ben hasn't uploaded anything in years. But I'll have to check that out when uh, somebody makes a video on it, because there's a good chance I'm not going to be able to do it. And okay, let's make sure. Okay. Let me reactivate my drop notifier. I had it turned on when I first tried when I first tried doing this, but then, as I mentioned, something happened and the stream decided to end, and YouTube decided to stop streaming just because OBS disconnected temporarily. Okay, good. So, no pickup is enabled. Good. And I get my drop notifier. Turquoise and emerald. Actually, I will go for... 
I will pick up a turquoise because I am going to want some uh, elemental resistance. I'll pick up boots because that is the base for... And if I'm wrong, now if I'm wrong and they change this, let me know. Um, the base for Rabbit's Foot, which gives spell damage and cast speed. That's going to be fed to the recycling bin. Whenever I get the uh, Catalyst of Disenchantment. I think that's what that item is called. The one that allows you to make arcane shards. And the, the Catalyst of Learning is the one that gives you the Signets of Learning. Is there another Catalyst or is that it? been so long, I'm rusty and don't remember all the mechanics offhand. It, it seems impossible that I would forget s that I wouldn't have this memorized. There we go. And I remember there was a reward for doing this. So are all the tier uniques the same? Good Good evening. I did briefly skim over the uh, the patch notes. I didn't see anything about there being changed. Uh, I didn't see there being anything about changed uh, tier uniques. Oop, hold on. Not. Oh, hello. Well, actually, I don't need that. Uh, do do do. Uh. There we go. Okay, so. Wait, training cellar? What the hell? What the hell's this? Uh. Uh. Oh. I see. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't read anything about this. Hmm. Two point four edition. Ah, that would be why. That would be why I didn't see anything in the patch notes. Cause I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't read two point four's patch notes.
What's the diamond do? Spell damage, strength, Eliraz. Eh. More strength! What level is this? Uh, this requires me to be level 15, and I'm 14. I'll have a look at that. Okay, so level 15, now we get to look at Eldritch Storm. Hits multiple times, unleash a twister of forbidden power. Alright, let's look at that. Okay, that... Hmm, that's some nice single target damage there. Uh, how much mana does it cost? So far, only eight, five. Hmm, this could be, this could be a single target skill. I'm not sure. I'm not too worried because I can respec until I'm level fifty for free. Dang, this is this is pretty good. Uh -huh. Nice. So, what do rubies do again? It's life after each kill. Bonus to Vit. Hmm. Amber, that is for lightning res, which I definitely do want. Give me that sweet lightning res. Also, can everyone hear the game all right? Let's test the, uh, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, so, so, so Eldritch Storm is your crowd clearer, and 
Magic Missiles seems to be the single target skill. Got you. Why doing a Blood Zone? Because it got reworked. The sisters will be glad to have this back. It got reworked, and I had been asked in the past to revisit it. I'll definitely check out Lava Pit. I know Lava Pit's by no means a new skill, because that was in that was in ancient median times, even back in XVI. Actually, is there a reason to it doesn't seem like there's any direct reason to put hard points into Eldritch Storm. Unless I'm wrong. Hey, wait, I didn't get the... Shoot, I didn't pick up the Catalyst of Disenchantment. Actually, you know what? I'll get it later. That is still a drop from uh, Normal Difficulty Smith, isn't it? Or is that from Andariel? So, we just sell some garbage. Even though I don't get anything for... Even though I don't really get anything for selling anything. Yeah. Sell... Sell, 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 alright, and level, ooh, okay, I should probably get up to level 25 then. Let's head back, to, ooh, let's head back to the, the Smith's corpse. This is assuming, by the way, that... I still get that from the Smith, or if I, ever, or if it, or if it ever dropped from him. No.
Also, I did see Triune is level 125 now. Like, the required level is 125. There we go, dead. Eldritch Storm area and range. Yeah. I can do this for, well, theoretical grinding of, theoretical grinding of Andarial, which I probably won't do because I hate farming Andarial because it takes forever. Unless that's been improved, but somehow I don't think it has. Now, uh, I know I should go for a Merc, and I probably will go for a Merc this playthrough. Um, is Act 5 Merc still, like, the best Merc by a wide margin, or... Or are the Mercenaries more balanced? Since I last played. I think all mercs are improved somewhat. Alright. I mean, I know not to use, like, Act 1 for this build, because I am obviously a caster. Act 5 merc was definitely nerfed. Ah, okay. Hmm, so should I do Act 2 merc then? I'm kind of thinking maybe I should. Whoa, whoa, move back. 
I remember that being extremely devastating. Oh, come on. There we go. And is Andariel just gonna spam this shit? Or is she actually gonna give me a chance to fight? Uh, get out of there. Ah, uh, she's gonna be an asshole and spam that shit, I bet. back. There we go. Ah, okay, that... Okay, so it was the Andariel that dropped it. And shield, don't care about that. This maiden shall inflict no more anguish. Greetings, the caravan is prepared. Good evening. All right, so let's do Radiment for that extra free skill point. No reason to not go for a free skill point. Uh, what level does this require? 60. Okay. Well, I won't have... Uh, Well, I won't have my free respec then. Or so let me get my Merc. Let me just get an Act 2 Merc real quick. I forget which Mercs do what. I think the Shapeshifter's the one that has, uh... Bloodthorns? Actually, I should probably just use this one anyway. But I do not remember. And I'm well aware I could just look in the documents and relearn what each care what each merc does. But I'll just stick with this for right this moment. So I want to keep a spear uh Keep my eye out for a spear for him. Spear or pole arm. that. Oh, get... Me, yeah, I hit that. Thank you. 
Oh, Bloodstone. Definitely need that for some uh, fire res. So I do not know... Okay, Radiment's just right over there. So I don't know how much strength I need for tier 4 stuff. I used to not need that much for a build like this, but since that one terrible balance update that made tier uniques cost up to 70% of sacred item cost, yeah, I don't remember. Oh, sped him. Uh, there you go. Maybe you can do some damage. I can't quite hit from that far away, unfortunately. Ah, fire elementals, yes. Okay, so... Alright, what's the maximum number of fire elementals I can have? Is, that's been lowered from 25 to 15, I think? I think it's 15 now. It might even be 10. I know it's not 25 like it used to be in the past. Oh, I can... Ooh, dragon blood. Yeah, I could go for that for an armor. Also, wait, what's their health? 506. I don't know if that's a nerf since the old days or not. I mean, they are only level 1, though, to be fair. Kill rat. There we go. Atma has been avenged. Okay, so twenty five percent life per base level. So I probably want to just pump a whole bunch of points in Fire Elementals if I'm actually going to use them. Hmm. 
I know Lava Burst got buffed a while back. I will, I will mention right now that I might not get through the entirety of normal difficulty this stream because I do have some unexpected company and we'll be going, we'll be going out to dinner at some point. It won't be for a few hours, but I may or may not, I'm just letting you guys know I might not get finished with normal difficulty like I used to be able to do with most builds back in the day. I will definitely at least kill Mephisto and do a little bit of Mephisto farming, since Mephisto farming is actually worthwhile. Kind of tempted to use one of my Akara. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think I am going to use an Akara respec. Again, I get unlimited until level fifth, uh, fifty. We do not care what you have to say, Akara. Uh, one, two, three. Bam. So, if I remember correctly, Fortitude only gives max stamina while Ecstatic Frenzy is active, correct? And if that's the case, then that means I don't bother with this at all. Unless I want to use Spirit of Vengeance later. That'll be later, though. Um... So for now, I think we invest more into balance, I guess. Alright. Let's proceed. Oh yeah, let's proceed.
making sure everything is going all right. And it seems to be fo going fine. By that, I mean the stream health. Making sure the stream's not disconnecting or anything like that. Okay, let's move back. More strength. Just my imagination, or is uh, or is Eldritch Storm not that great? Once I hit level 30, I'll definitely have to respec and test uh, Lava Pit to see if that's any good. layer. I do know I have to go down here for the uh, the thing. I remember the ancient days of Median when uh, when this was just the uh, the old Brachy Saren. Now now the current Zaxx quest, and that was a that was a long ass time ago. I forget what version. I think it was one of the 2017 versions that reverted this place back to somewhat normalcy. And it wasn't just an Uber Quest area. Back then, Zaxx had his heroic shield. Give me that.
Doesn't that thing... Okay, I thought that thing threw off Gamma Field when it was killed. Unless that's... Unless that's an outdated version I'm thinking of. Anyway, back to the far oasis. Oh shit! Move back. Let my minions take the hits, that's what they're there for. I need to heal. Yeah, this doesn't seem too great, actually. As soon as I hit level 30, I'm going back to... Uh, or I'm going to Lava Pit and then use Magic Missiles. Uh, what do you guys attack? Okay, you guys are attacking a ghost. spell is actually quite bad right now. I say this knowing full well I don't have any points in energy and no extra spell damage to compensate. Oh, well, that might help. Looking outside the window.
Amulet of the Viper. There we go. Let there be light. Hmm, so, summon two elementals for cast. I'm thinking my options here. Ah, uh, summon two fire elementals. Fire Ellie, or er, fire Ellie half health halved. So basically, from what I'm seeing here, this would be if I want to summon a fire elemental in front of something's face, have it die, and then hopefully it uses a high level fire cannonade on death. Because I, unless this was changed. I think however much fire spell damage you have affects the power of the fire elemental fire cannonade too. That, so that could be useful just for summoning suicidal elementals in front of something. Or it could just be useful for throwing up meat shields quickly against bosses that can kill element uh, summons quickly, like Judgment Day. Arcane Sanctuary. Arcane 
for sure, this is the this is the best place to have map reveal in Act Two. Uh. Condemned Viper, get out of, or Vizjiri, not Viper. Ooh, Police Verso. Actually, yeah, let's get Gauntlets for Police Verso. They used to be a pretty good fire caster set of gloves. Bulos, good to see my videos again. Thank you, and it's good to see you in the chat once again. The Summoner. This should be easy. Should be, being the key word. Let me just throw off a bunch of fire elementals right in front of their face. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, it tells me what, uh... Okay, it says what they do. Okay, I forgot it. I didn't realize that. It's been too long. Fifteen non-hardcore ladders in Late Nightmare, two chicken to try taking them into hell. Yeah, one mistake and you're... And your hardcore characters are... Well, they're gonna be... Do they still get reduced to softcore when they die, or... Or is it, uh... Did they revert that change? Also, what is the real... The triangle? That is over here, I think. Anyway, did they revert the change where dying reverts to softcore? They just go to softcore, okay. I know that change was made a long time ago. Yep, there it is. Yep, I was correct. Having one. Having one killed, you take the personal defeat. Well, I mean, I can see that. Especially for hardcore difficulty. Or hardcore mode. Okay, level 28. Two more levels and I could check out Fire Pit. Or Lava Pit, not Fire Pit.
Oh, oh, oh. for this boss, which used to give me a lot of difficulty in previous versions and builds. Though, I want to say this guy got nerfed since those days. Alright, level 29. Uh... Now for, I was going to say Bail, but that's not right. Now for Duriel. Duriel is really bad and normal. Worse than he was before. Here I save and exit. Will do. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Unfortunately, the rock fall see still keeps happening. Okay. Also, fuck these fire towers. They have no real reason to exist other than to. other than to ruin your day. Oh shit! I'm standing in the fire trap. in the fire pit here. I killed him, went to the middle of the chamber, and gotten killed by falling rocks. Yeah, I can relate to that. I'm. Pretty sure that's happened to me. I am Jaren. I thank the demonic you have done fair. Alright, one moment. Yes, dear? So, probably not. Why? Is she getting anxious? Huh? Okay. Well, it'll be a. Can you guys wait one more hour before for sunset? I don't care. I'm in the middle of a stream. Okay, I don't know if you could hear any of that. I'm not stopping my stream now for that. I haven't seen one of your kind in many years. Jaren tells me to see you. So let's resurrect our our dude. Go. So, let's reveal the map. So, yeah, no more skill points. We're still only level 29. Can't wait to get to level 30 and get Fire Pit. I want to see how good it is now. So I know it got buffed a long time ago. Shark stick for rune word. That is, uh, Tal, right? Uh, do I... Also make F belt.
F belt is rainbow, if I remember correctly. Now, really, what I need to do is make uh, Pax Mystica in a in a, uh, in a staff. Unless that no longer grants teleport. Or blink. Shark is now Eldrune. Okay, well, it's a good thing you told me that. Pax Mystica is now tier. Ah. So there's stuff I'm forgetting. Or, well, actually, no. Those changes weren't made in the previous patch, I don't think. There's changes I'm forgetting about. I'm definitely going to have to look over the, the Rune Word and Tier Uniques list again to refresh, refresh my memory. Good rune word for gloves is L. I will have to look at. I will have to look at that. General rune words of the morph. There are only a few good ones and they require very high end runes. Meaning meaning you farm Slaws Glen. I presume, correct? Yeah, I remember rune words being nerfed quite heavily in in the past. Or at least some of the the uh, the old standby rune words. All oh, right, you're not in hell yet. All right, level thirty. Going back to... Actually, before I go back to Act 1, let me find the waypoint here. Um, okay, so yeah. I am capped at 15 Fire Elementals, which I thought I remembered correctly. Gets me 90% shot for craft belt. You have a small chance of disintegrate. Ah, yes, disintegrate on melee attack. I remember using that in the past on. I think it was melee sorceress, actually, that I used that a belt with that proc. Yeah, I remember how good that is. Also, I may have done that for Spears on, too. Chain boots. That is uh, lion paw, which used to be really good. I. Oh wait, actually, not so much for this build. Okay. 
so arachnid layer. That is not where the uh, that is not where the the eye is. Kalium's eye. It's definitely not there. You'll need very high strength, a lot of tier 4 items. Yeah. What, just for my tier 4 uniques? Yeah, I remember that. Love. Yeah, I do remember that. I mentioned that earlier. I think it was before you got here, but um, yeah, that was one of the worst balance changes they ever made. Especially for casters. Or did it get worse from since that version? So once I clear this out, get the get Kalim's eye, I will go back to Act One and use one of my respecs. Or I should say, use a respec because again, unlimited until level 50. I personally wouldn't mind seeing a unlimited respec from Akara. That way, you don't have to worry about like if you fuck up, you don't have to worry about. Uh, don't have to worry about getting a um, a Belladonna elixir, even though that is a global drop, and you could just have a, a level 100 Merc do all the dirty work for you until you get one on normal, for example. Unless that got changed too. Also, I called it Belladonna elixir, not extract. But everybody knows what I meant. I'm sure it seems like it's gotten worse. Medium game guide. Check out tier 4 versus tier T3 2 requirements. Some cases the former are twice the latter. Hmm. I will have to look at it. I will check that out when I start doing Mephisto farming. What would this bring from the right buyer? I've not set foot in back in Loot Galane. Welcome to Poros. Well, please. I've read legends about us. Damn it! I wish you people would just leave me alone. I oh. Damn it! I wish you people would just leave me alone. Bang. Okay, let's go. Back to Act One. So, blood magic. Okay. And then...
So, let's check out that lava pit. Lava pit. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to, I guess I'll have to be near an enemy for that to go off. Or I have to target an enemy in order to be able to... Hmm. For some reason I was thinking the radius was a lot bigger than that. This increases damage. It does not increase radius. But it does do a nice amount of damage, though it's probably it might not be the best thing for teleporting bosses. Something tells me I should not be using this against Astro. Actually, does Astro still teleport around? I know that fight got reworked in the previous patch, but I didn't play that, so I don't know if it's any good or not. I don't know if Astro still teleports around or not. Also, I could see this being problematic when I'm trying to escape. If I'm accidentally name-locking something. But the damage is definitely a lot better than uh, Eldritch Storm. Unless this is the single target killer. Like a gimped version of the old brimstone skill. More strength. More fire elementals. I think we'll max... Actually, what's their health right now? Jesus, 10,000 already. Okay, yeah, these are beefy boys. And I don't even have any summoned minion life modifiers. There we go. Dole, shale, almond, dole, L, ring, ring. Destroy all that. I guess the waypoint, yeah, it's way out there. I may as well get it, because I'm already here, and my OCD will not allow me to not get it since it's all since I'm already in the area.
Hmm. I'm thinking later on I might actually want to just not put so many points in fire elementals and just put enough for 15 spirits and call it good. Probably gonna want defensive harmony at some point. By probably, I mean I know I am. At least up to the point where I get up to 25%. Zach Byron's. There's a name I haven't seen in a long time. Good to see you again. You know, a ton of time to stick around, but awesome to see me playing MXL again. You haven't played in two seasons either, so it's not just me then. Well, no matter how long you stay, thank you for dropping in. Like I said, it's good to see you again. Swampy Pit level 1. Yeah, we don't go down there. By the way, uh, the Death Projector, that's definitely been changed this season, I saw in the patch notes. It works kind of the same, but not quite the same. Found Pax Mystica... It's really necessary to retrieve Merc. Get stuck behind obstacles and die if too far from you. Oh. I definitely need to get that then at some point. I probably should have gotten that already. You didn't real. Got a lot of schoolwork and you didn't have the time. Ah. Uh, you didn't realize there was a new season today. That's. Pretty much how I was last season, minus the schoolwork. Last season, when I realized a new season had started, I realized it like a week later. And I was like, oh well, fuck it, I'll just I'll just start at the beginning of next season, which would be today. I'm I'm really curious to see Uber Uber Butcher once I hit level 125. Watch out for the Watch out for the archers. Use the druid cascade. Those aren't the ones that shoot through walls, right?
Also in Act 3, Act 4. Balrogs that throw Flame Strike. Oh yeah, don't stand in that. Yeah, for sure. I remember Flame Strike. Alright, so here... Uh... Wasn't there an upgrade that improved Lava Pit's uh, radius? Or is that in a is that in an ancient version too? I guess I'll invest in Fire Pit for now. I remember the boss thing that spawns can be really deadly. At least on, uh, at least on Nightmare difficulty. Actually, before I go in here, I'm gonna get the waypoint in Lower Karast, and then just go straight to Lower Karast once I'm done. I'll teleport, I'll Town Portal out, and then just take the waypoint. Flawless Amethyst. That is Dexterity, and we don't go for that here. Looks like there wasn't any complete class reworks this patch. Um, not as far as I know. Unless there was one last season. They reworked Bloods on last season, I think. But as far as a complete character class overhaul, no, nah, I don't think there has been. Whoa, look out! Okay, I, I remember this. This is extremely devastating if it hits you. My minions can just face tank this shit. My Merc will probably instantly die. No. There's a lot of other changes, like behind the scenes stuff. Now, but you, now, when I now when you say behind the scenes stuff, are you talking about changes that weren't included in the patch notes, like gameplay changes that aren't included in the patch notes? Because I know they like to do that shit sometimes. All right, lower crest. Okay, so that waypoint's been obtained. Now to go back and get the, uh, is it Kalim's brain, I think, that's in the, the, uh, the Flare dungeon? Like, number stuff to avoid rework of avoid scaling. Oh, okay. Damn lightning circle nuked two of your hardcore characters. Eh. Riftwalker. Did try to get out of the circle, didn't help. 77% lightning resist. Oh, ouch. Big F there. Yeah, that's why I always just avoid. Well. Well, you say you're on ladder, right? Right, Bulos? That, that's exactly why, why I'm not playing on on uh, Realm this season, I'm just doing single player. On top of the fact that I can just come back to these characters whenever I want. Non-ladder, ah. Uh. But you're still on Realm, though.
Yeah. You've been playing on SP for a long time. Ping is just awful. Yeah. Yeah, I got fed up of that shit before I quit playing MXL. That's why I'm basically resorting back to... Er, resorting, I mean reverting back to single player. Basically from now on. That way I don't have to worry about that garbage. series you get comments from people why do you have all those runes in your stash already but it's worth it yeah definitely job for cascade archers are those yeah the you did say those are here And once it, right here, there's an here's an instance where I should have made Pax Mystica. That meme is still very much alive and relevant for this channel. And then there, Claw Viper, o Orange Claw Viper. Okay. Come on. Oh. Okay, it was Colleen's brain. The heart is in the in the uh, the sewers, and then the flail is just in Travancall. Beware the High Council. Nivy Wraith, good to see you again. <laughs> you were looking up a blood zone guide, and here I am. Yep. Playing the reworked as of last season blood zone. Also, I even before that rework, I was asked to revisit Bloods on. That was a long time ago. Run into Cascade Archer Vipers and Sewers also. Oh wait, what am I doing? It was reworked. It was reworked last season. Like, the old Bloodstorm skill doesn't exist anymore, as far as I'm aware. If it does, it's on an O skill. It got replaced by, uh, well, it got replaced by this, from what I could tell. So, a brief summary is, Magic Missiles, from what I can gather, Magic Missiles is basically the same as it always was. You know, you throw out your magic missiles, they hit something. Lava Pit is still the same, though it might have been buffed. At least since I last played Blood Zone, which was four years ago. Meaning it wasn't worth it back then. And 
This thing throws out a little tornado that shoots out lightning bolts, but it does fire damage. Now, keep in mind, I don't have any gear to help supplement my damage. It seems average. We don't get our totems anymore. What totems would you be would you be referring to? Oh, that's a uh, bloodstorm. Yeah, that got removed. Or or it might be an O skill. I I don't actually remember if it's an O skill now or not. I think it got removed. Yeah, I'm that's one thing I wish would have been, been kept. Now I will point out one thing about the Bloods on now. Once you invest in this, and you have to, you have to in order to use your skills, um, spells cost life instead of mana. And that passive did exist before if you had the full Red Vex Flayer set, which I may or may not use. If I find all the pieces, then fuck yeah, I'll look at it. Although that will be interesting, then, see how that will function. Um, and you regenerate a ton of health up to, what is it? Up to 200 per second. Um, investing in these will lower, will drain some health. Not a lot, from what I can gather, but it'll drain some. Not a good option for hardcore. No. Wait, are you referring to Storms On or what I'm doing? New 120 Uber for class gives you full set class like D3 does every season. Yeah, I did read that. In this season, it's Java's On set. That would have been helpful for you a few seasons ago. Just like Veil King, spells cost life to cast. Yeah. You do get some nice-ish regen, though, at least. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's a lot of damage. I don't even know what nearly killed me there. Did hammers on a while ago. This time you did caster. It's still crazy OP. I've heard it's still one of the strongest builds out there. <laughs> Turquoise, give me that. Got nerfed many times and it's still strong. Got hit with triple barrel glacial spike. Ah, oh, that's what happened there. And my resist is not even close to capped. If I was doing hardcore, I for sure would be gold farming for max res. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where is that flaming staff? There it is. Waiting on a Yist rune to drop. There's a Java rune where it gives you try Ellie scaling. Damn. That seems like it could be pretty useful. Level 80 Javas on. So far it's okay. But damage for primary skill is still mediocre. This is probably a case where you should see how much it does with Curari. That'd be my guess. Because I do remember 
Once I got Curari with uh, Spears on, holy shit, the damage increase was absurd. Yours is poison scaling, and it's nuts. I had that, um... I had that spear that increases your poison pierce with every... What was it? Every rune you... Or no, it's every great rune you equip, which does count for the, uh, the Tegonzi. The Tegonzi, uh, runes. It gives you, I think, poison pierce, so I just invested a ton of venom runes in there, and holy shit, mobs just liquidated under Curari. Obviously, that was at a point where I could actually use rune other rune words and such and not be dependent on Paragon for health. So that's more like an endgame option for Spears on. Oh, come on. So, yeah, we'll just keep investing in Lava Pit for now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! See, I can't fucking leave! Let me fucking leave! Please! Okay. Shield main passives used to make you immortal so you're not so squishy. Not you are so squishy, lol. Okay, there is a Thingus here granting immunity. Where where are you, you little shit? Oh my god! Okay, yeah. Yep, yeah, this is where uh, name locking becomes a problem. I need that move only command. I need to do that a lot more often. Wait, hold on. Hold on, immune to everything but magic. Fuck me, I could have just used magic missiles. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't even think of that until it was too late. Yeah, get out of here. There we go. That's better. I just so happened to do the one element that they're not immune to. Need to invest a lot of points in the shield, maiden skills. Uh, tier rune, give me that crap. Actually, we can look at that. Gem links. Shield Maiden, you need to. Might take Curari when hit level 90. More likely Spirit of Vengeance. 34% block block chance based on character level. Okay, that's pretty good. Second wind. Cars eight points in elemental aegis. Your maximum block chance cannot be reduced below 50%. Hmm. Yeah, I could see... Uh, I could see where this become, where those points could be a problem. Or finding that many points to invest. On top of your, your javelin skills.
that's a lot, but you don't need to invest in damage skills, because poison scales so early. Scales so easy early game. Oh? Ah! Uh. Presumably from Scorpion Sting, if I had to make a guess. Extra fizz is needed for Leech, yeah. Actually, wait, isn't there stuff that gives you life on striking that you could use instead? And then, yeah, Curare, once you hit level 90. Oh my god. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's fire him up. There we go. So, eyeball, brain, heart, where heart. I didn't go down into the sewers yet. That's the problem. I didn't go down into the sewers. AoE skill only triggers in the middle javelin, kind of like multi shot. Ah. Uh. Okay, so yeah, I. I see the problem then, with depending entirely on, on uh, life on striking. If that's the case, let's see. It's over there. Okay, so it's over there. So we'll go down into this one. Leech comes from all. This leech comes from the javelins and the projectiles it shoots out, which would be this thing, I presume. There we go. Never want. So, I'm going to actually, wait, hold on, where's the son of a bitch? It's over there. And because this is a single player, I have to beat the game on normal in order to get a potentially better, better, uh, spawn. Oh well. So I'm gonna finish the game on, well, I'm not gonna finish the game, I'll finish Act 3 and Act 4 on normal, and then I'll probably end the, end the stream. Which will probably be in 30 minutes, I guess. Maybe 20. Again, I have unexpected company over, and they want to go... And... My missus and our unexpected company wants to go out for dinner. Otherwise, I would just keep playing until I'm done with normal difficulty. But I will be back on tomorrow. At my usual streaming time. And uh, I will be streaming this for quite some time. Let's see, 
died, you have to get a new one. Oh. Alright, F for your dead PC. Your wife came... Bulos' wife came back... Your wife came back... ...from work with food from dinner, so you're watching on borrowed time. Also, yeah, I need to be collecting that waypoint at some point. I'll do that after I kill, uh, What's-His-Face. I guess. Actually, no, screw that. I'll do that off-screen once I do my, uh, Mephisto farming. strength more lava pit all right now i remember mephisto being a piece of shit in previous in days gone by previous versions. Alright. Rip Mephisto. Give me that soul stone. Rand okay, random movement speed bonus. That kills it for me. Success. But still, there's something not right. All right, let me go back. I'm sure some people have noticed that I did not hand in Lum Essence Tome. I noticed that too. I did not hand in the Jidbin. All this trouble over a tattered book. Bam. Oh, right, I talked to Ormus to hand in the, the Gidbin quest. All right, so what did I get? That is exactly the, sp the element I do not do. So, uh, let's just do my shared stash. Wait. Oh, so, hmm. All right, that might be a thing that could be looked at. Watch out for reworked Oblivion Knights as they have some kind of waterfall magic attack. And Crusaders now- oh, Jesus. I fucking hate Crusaders. Damage from Catapults in Act 5 got nerfed. I'm just pissed that Crusaders are there. Because those were the worst in Act 3. Alright, so... Obviously, first things first here, we're going to do Izawal for our two free skill points. There is never an instance where I don't do this, even in vanilla. And those are the ones that can shoot through fucking walls and have their Spike Nova on death. Those were among the worst enemies in the game. At least if you had low defense. If you had high defense, they are no problem. Lawless Amber. Give me that. Give me that lightning res. Oh, hello, Izawal. You're just sort of right here. Whoa. Cheerio, 
was a fool to have trusted me. You see, it was I who corrupted the Soul Stone. Help us. Help us. And they're interrupting. Oh, you people be quiet. I need to... I want to hear his dialogue, damn it. At least for a little bit. All right. Ghoul Lord's wasting one. Oh, good. They have more. Uh, oh, good. So, so more poison spell damage that instantly kills, basically. Ugh. Why they removed? Why they removed the uh, healing potion removes poison effect? I don't know. Alright, so we'll just do that. Get another point into Lava Pit for now. Oh yeah, this thing. Oh, nice. Waypoint right over here. Hide and potion up. You have a skill that can cut poison and curse length. What, this shit? Yeah, I'm not wasting... I'm not wasting my mastery on that. I can only invest in three masteries, and I'm not wasting one on that. Although, what should I invest in? Well, endurance for sure. Ah. Uh, Specialization, for sure. Okay, yeah, those are my three masteries. Right. Now here... Fuck off, Pyromancer, you little cocksucker attacking me from off screen. What the fuck is wrong with you? Fuck off! Get out of here! Apocalypse got nerfed, or er, buffed. That could be one of those, uh... I'm not sure if it was mentioned in the patch notes, but it could be a, uh, a hidden change. And yes, keep in mind that my fire resistance is not even close to being capped. Poison enemies have always been crazy and uh curse poison mastery has always sucked yep yep it has always been terrible i do very much remember that foul rune perfect bloodstone 
Nice. What does Sapphires do? Cold Raz. Eh, not real. Well, actually, wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. If Sapphires do that, what about um, Onyxes? Or do those not exist anymore? Okay, get rid of that. I don't need that. Yeah, okay, that's still the same. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at the gems, because uh, if Sapphire's now... Yeah, this this used to be... This used to be uh, Onyx's, not Sapphire's. Okay, I didn't know that. All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look through everything. Jesus, Onyx gives max cold res. Okay. Okay, so um, so Onyx is still much better then because of the max res. Okay. I forget what sapphires did before. Some gems have been slightly repurposed, but still largely the same. Okay. It's not in the patch notes, was it last season? It could have been last season. I'm not sure myself. the high runes like bird champ jaw champ don't drop as nearly as often as they used to maybe mm, now maybe they drop maybe they've been made to drop more often in hell oh god oh god uh, get these things out of here, use... Wait. Eh, what? Boy? Get fucked! Mm. There we go. Give me that healing potion. Okay, is it just me, or is, have they increased the size of this area since last time I played? I realize I probably got a bad roll also, but this area feels much bigger than it used to. Needless to say, by this point in hardcore, you have max fire res. Yeah, it's mandatory for hardcore. points. Yeah, there's probably no reason for me to invest hardcore in lava pit like this. And it probably would just be better to invest in magic missiles instead. Currently. I don't know. I'd have to see what damage I can do later. As is usually the case. Once I have Spell damage, pierce, etc. Hey, Blue Hedgehog Man, good to see you here tonight. 
Sorcerer set this season is the Cold set, which hasn't been updated since Cold Sword was reworked into a melee build. So it has minion stats that you can't use. Has uh, Unholy Caster Paladin set been reworked to not suck? Because that hasn't been reworked since God knows how long. Since ancient, since really ancient Median, back when Punisher was a skill in the tree. And I want to say that predates even Ultimative. UHM was insanely good when you played it with the set. Yeah, UHM got buffed hardcore. Really should get Pax Mystica. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh god. Yeah, let's do that now while I'm thinking about it. Or since, since you brought it up. Uh... If I recall correctly, you can you do this now, or is that not a thing? Okay, yes, and I need to get a jewel. And what rune did you say? Uh, what rune did you say Pax Mystica was? Tear? You have Unholy Caster, and so far it's one of your best characters. I played Unholy Caster... Okay, Tear. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> I don't have enough dexterity, son of a bitch. Well, at least I have unlimited respects. So, that's not a problem. Just... I can just imagine Akara being like, You need to respec again? What are you doing wa wasting your skills so frugally? Alright, let's just invest enough for 15 spirits. Um, let's get one for Fire Pit, and actually, let's get the rest of the magic missiles. Go, go, go. Hey, Vorgaz, good to see you here tonight. I do regret to inform you, though, that you're, you've are you popped in at pretty much at the end of the stream, because I'm about finished for tonight. Alright, let's see, what's the teleport? Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Where's that blink? There it is! Ooh. The episodes after rewatching your ret my Retribution playthrough and the episodes after 18 have the wrong number. Oops, I will have to go I'll have to go back and fix that then. Uh, thanks for letting me know that. Yeah, that has a tendency to ha happen. And 11 volts. Okay. Oh shit. You went live with Mario Party 1. Oh god, I need to... Yeah. 
Did I see the totally reasonable screenshot you DM'd? I have not been on Discord. I will hop on. I will hop on later tonight and check it out. Right now, I'm just. Right now, I'm just wrapping up this stream, and then I'm gonna go have dinner with, with some company. Actually, I can check that out right after the stream's over. Balrog problems call Gandalf. You shall not pass. Okay, let's go. Now for Gome. I call it Goma. Oh. Don't you die on me. Not even death can save you from me. So I imagine he'll flame strike and insta kill the Merc. So that has a tendency to happen. All right, got him. So now I can create a a weapon. Hmm. Shit, I almost feel like using this. Hmm. All right. Well, either way, because I have company. That is the end of this stream. So I will see you guys tomorrow with more Median, and I will check out that DM you sent me for, guys. And of course I'll correct the retribution numbers. Let me just uh, invest in some skills here. Alright. So, take care everybody, and boy, it feels good to be back.